Yeah, I think OBS might be having issues, but this might be a good excuse to... I, I've been wanting to try Streamlabs OBS, um, so I'm using that, and that might actually fix my uh, synchronization issue. So, anyway, we're going to play a heavy weapons guy. <laughs> this is our first viewer, Chris. Oh, wow. It's even got his big face there. This is, this is basically a TF2, I think. I think this is Team Fortress thing. <laughs> What's up, Mars? How are you doing, sir? You may not be there when you start my ship, but you'll be there sometime. All right, Zach Dog. Halloween stream, but pumpkins over Kappa. Okay. A Vulcan fits this so much it does. He <laughs> put the Vulcan stick it out of it. It's only one of the little things there, but... Uh, hopefully audio and everything is good today. Y'all have to let me know. I know my camera's not exactly got the best settings because I, I didn't have time to get everything. I just, I got a camera. I hopefully will have uh, audio or, um, oh yeah, I already had uh, a uh, notifications working. So, all right, let's get started. This is the heavy weapons guy from Da Book, D-A-B-U-C. We have apparently a single human. There's a heart, lungs, hands. <laughs> what is this? A sandwich? Uh, or is that an actual shield? A wrench for doors? It's crazy. What if two Vulcans? I know, right? You finally made it to stream. You're so excited. Nice, Baudre. Welcome back. A sandwich. Is that is that a is that a thing? Oh, we have a pre-igniter with our Vulcan. Let's let's get started. It's taking us way too long to get the stream going today. So, does a heavy weapons guy have something to do with like repairing? Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't read about it. Hold on a sec. Hold on. I have to read. Uh, list. Ship class type A. It costs four hundred thousand thousand dollars to operate this ship for twelve seconds. What? All right. Well, that's what that. That's what we have to say about this ship. All right. Okay. All right. We have a pre-ignited Vulcan. Let's go. Let's go do some things. Uh, it seems we space for second one or the first one. But where's the repair bomb? Um. Uh, yeah, hey, that's where it is. You can see a little slot moving there. So if we get a second Vulcan, it's going to be there. I think we need to find a second Vulcan. I think we know what our goal is for the ship. Oh, look at the shields. They're just this red, <laughs> weird-looking thing. All right, all right. Uh, let's we'll turn auto fire on here. I love the shields. It's got this weird afraid of that going on. Sandwich is a heavy item that he uses it to heal. Description is a reference to the meet the heavy. Okay. <laughs> so if you're a TF2 aficionado, you understand this shit better than I do already. I don't have a weapons guy. I need a heavy weapons guy to be in my heavy weapons. That red is a medic special metagun, I think. Oh, is that, is that like when, when a medic heals you in TF2, do you get like this aura from or something? Their internal organs, yeah, you got a hat, you have a brain, you have lungs. Uh, maybe that's an eyeball for the sensors, hands for the edge of that. I don't know. I don't know, it's another crazy ship from a crazy viewer, it's love, I love it. Big throwback to your TF2 days, you love it? Nice, Zach Dog. Your brother used to play pro TF2, he was one of the best demos in the world, I think. Really? Giant Alien Spiders, let's go for it. <laughs> All right, let's restart. All right, Giant Alien Spiders with only one human. Apparently not the way to go. Yeah, it's pre-ignited, but no auto-reloader. No auto-reloader, just, uh, just pre-ignited. Hey, I had to see what the human, if the human can fight off the Giant Alien Spiders. Oh, uh, crap, I can't see my... You know what I need to do? I need to have my Streamlabs open on my other screen so I can see. I'm gonna have to do a totally new setup here. So I can see who follows and all that stuff. Who follows? Events. Super Toaster, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome to the stream, my friends. Alright. Auto fire. Zoltan Shield is Sandwich. <laughs> this is Sandwich. I don't really get the Sandwich thing. No, man, that was the, well, actually, shields or weapons were both the bad thing, so. Oh, damn it. Is this guy's been running. These are shields or weapons. Okay, thank you. 
Okay. I was waiting for your stream to start. I don't know why I was notified. We Titans because uh, I started like an hour late. That's why. I started an hour late because my my uh, gaming PC, my streaming PC had some issue. I don't know what it was, but there was no audio coming from my capture card. So I was basically, it, it, actually there was not no audio. There was a really bad hissing sound static really bad and no audio so I had to I basically use a completely different setup to stream so you got a new camera it looks good uh, sound the game sounds are still a bit loud okay no it's not it's not a new camera same camera it's just a completely different setup all right let me turn uh, sound a little bit down again Basically, I used to do uh, two PC streaming. I used my laptop to actually do all the streaming stuff with OBS and everything. And I have now changed it so that I plugged everything into my gaming PC. And uh, that's going to cause some changes. I'm going to need to... Everything's not going to be dialed in perfectly until after the stream. And I can do some setting changes. But hopefully it'll be better in long, long run. You can also change the volume. That's true. But I do want to know compared to voice if sound is balanced or not so let me let me know i do like to have the info of whether you guys feel it's good or not i look like a ghost how spooky all see through yeah i i i <laughs> totally that's why hey improved med bay nice all right angie go be on weapons um i was like i said i was quickly throwing together all the settings to just have a stream so, uh, it's not going to be perfect today. I'm going to have to change some uh, camera settings because the camera I plugged into my other computer and a bunch of other stuff. So, Okay, uh, anything I want here? No automated reloader. I could sell... Why do I have a repair bomb? Is that just a thing that the heavy would have? Is he like a repair guy? I don't want to sell that if that's like a thing that he does, so... I'll hold off on selling for now, I guess. My voice could be up a bit more. Here, let me just turn up my gain here. If I do that, hopefully that will do it right there. Okay. Hey, complete scan. Nice. Okay. Interesting. The venting looks a little different. Oh, God. This could be bad. Oh, okay. Who the doge? Come on, don't hit my weapons. Hey, oh my god, we have 50% dodge. Wow, the venting looks weird. Maybe it's just because the rooms are different? I don't know. Nice. Uh, okay. Who's uh, behind on chat here? Uh, $400,000 to fire this gun, huh? Money well spent. Those $1,200 bullets aren't so hot when they don't hit nothing, do they? That's what the scout says? Okay. Do the crew's health look different? Uh, I don't know if the crew health looks different. I think the repair bomb is supposed to be the sand bitch. Okay. The crew health bar looked darker. Um, do I want eight missiles and eight scrap? Two That's a lot of missiles, actually. If I sell 15 missiles for 45 scrap... Nah, I'm not gonna do it. 10% equals 100% for me, that's right. Oh, I got a defense scrambler. I made the right choice. Lovely. Okay. Yeah, I have a feeling that actually this just change I made today is going to probably be a permanent change to my stream. I'm probably going to start using Streamlabs OBS because Shogi told me that he uses it and it, I feel like it looks a lot better if I can just get used to it is going to be the thing. I just get level 2 piloting, piloting go to the nebula here. I'm just going to have to get used to a new setup. I've been using a different setup for so long. Hey, all right, I'll take it. It's a human, but he's free. We'll take a free human. Actually, we need to do that, so we have one extra doge. I just lost my 10% equals 100% doge, though. Okay, one calls for help, and apparently I ignored him. Yeah, I don't know about the people's health bars looking darker. It could just be because I have a different stream setup and 
the balance of colors, different or something. Whatever your green screen is the same color as the crew health bars. Oh, you know what? That That's probably what it is, Zach Doug. I might need to fix that. Then. I think you're exactly right, actually. It's the green screen thing, because probably the this health is different, too. Aha, attendant, right. I'm guessing the whole health is the same green, and you're having a hard time seeing it, maybe. Damn. Oh, nice. Vulcan's still online. Beautiful. Got it. You see hints of green on the screen. It could be the color balance. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's because of, uh... Again, I did my settings really fast, so maybe maybe I can fix that real quick. I'm just a little worried. I won't show anything wrong if I go onto my uh, thing here, right? Yeah, I don't think I'll show anything weird. So if I just do uh, properties behind the stream, behind the stream settings, um, This is the thing I had to change. Is my costume a salty Yasuo, Yasuo main? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so here's here's where it is. Um, it's the similarity. I was changing this. If I go down in similarity, you start seeing my background. So you know that's that's it's the settings I got to change. Um, spill reduction, contrast brightness. This this again was like a thing I just set up really quickly. Uh, spookiest costume ever designed by a man is Claptrap with a wizard hat. Fight me. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't really want to mess with all these settings right now. And the thing is, I can't actually see what the game looks like in my stream thing because <laughs> when I switch over to here, I don't see it anymore. Uh, although I can maybe see it on my live thing here. If I can make this bigger. Oh, that is weird. Yeah, it's like the inside of the uh, of the uh, <laughs> of their health bar is is all whoops is all blacked out. But when I go to this screen, it's it's you see it right. <laughs> I'll have to I'm gonna have to mess with those settings. Uh, I'm gonna have to mess with that. So, oh well. All right, so if it looks like there's a big empty bar inside their health, it's because they're at full health. That's that's what it is. Anyway. It's, it's Halloween. They're dressed up as having no health or something. Congratulations on your no weapon, sir. Okay. Do, 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 do. Actually, we can leave that online so we can get some doge training. Okay. We should get some really fast Vulcan weapon training going on, though. Oh man, spooky Halloween. My my worst fear happened. My stream started late because of um um because of technical issues. So you have to do RPG, so you have fun. Shame you can't catch too much of the stream. All right, well have a good one, Pie Boy. Uh, let's see, real quick, text message about a gig. Let me answer. Are your drones sandwiches on this ship? Are <laughs> my drone sandwiches? I don't know, but the shield room is apparently something about a sandwich. Apparently the heavy likes sandwiches. I don't know. I don't know all the uh, TF2 references. Have lucky cookies. Lots of YouTube for you to watch. Right, you got plenty of YouTube to get caught up on. All the, all the, all the missed uh, FTL runs for you, pie boy. Have a good, uh, have a good RPG, though, sir. Um, engines are putus. What is... I don't know what that is. <laughs> I have no idea. I don't get all these references. 
Spooky gig time. Well, I don't have a spooky gig. Uh, one, two, I only have three gems here. But I do have lots of Christmas gigs, so that is that is kind of what I was answering there. So one, two, one, two, three. Okay. All right. We're, we'll have to go a little late today since I started an hour late. Oh wow, I got two shields just in time. Okay, what is okay? Single laser. Okay, let's get let's get this offline. We should be good. Nice. Do I have a spooky gig? I don't think I have a spooky gig. No. No, no spooky gigs for me. Although I do have to get up really early and sing in the morning tomorrow for church gig. That could be spooky, having to get up super early. You mean you don't go door-to-door -door singing the Nightmare Before Christmas theme? <laughs> hey, that'd be a cool gig. Although I don't even know the Nightmare Before Christmas theme. I'm going to admit, I've never seen Nightmare Before Christmas. I know another probably amazing movie that I have not seen. Banished. I am banished from Twitch for not having seen that movie. Rand baked spooky Christmas for the trick or treat. Spooky cookies for the trick or treaters. No, that's too much work. I don't. I don't do anything like that. I. I do nothing fun for the trick or treaters. Although I. I meant to get candy for them, but I, I didn't even get that. I do have. I do have regular chocolate chip cookies ready available though. How many times have I shot down drones with my weapons? I don't know. Randomly. Oh number of random times. Oh, oh, nice shield. Got back at the time. Uh, I was supposed to do a movie marathon with my sister today, but she isn't home. It's pretty good. I should watch it. Yeah, there's a lot of movies I should watch. The problem is watching a movies by yourself can be kind of boring. It's more fun when you have somebody to talk about the movie with or cuddle with or hang out with. Get all nerdy and discuss nerdy things with. Your disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. I'm sad, sad to hear such a such a horrible thing for you, Bodrea. <laughs> what kind of movie marathon were you going to do? Spooky? I would assume it's some sort of spooky movie marathon. A Nightmare Before Christmas movie marathon. Oh, a Tim Burton movie marathon. Okay. That does sound pretty cool. Uh, let's see. How many Tim Burton movies have I seen? Uh, Edward Scissorhands is, is that, right? That The new Willy Wonka with uh, Johnny Depp. Uh, one of my favorites was Sleepy Hollow. That was a really good one. Do we go abandoned here? Let's go abandoned. Sleepy Hollow, Sleepy Hollow's Tim Burton. Uh, what else? Um, let's get a power, maybe? I gotta save up to make sure I can afford a uh, Vulcan if we find one. We gotta get double Vulcan, man. This is just, if we don't get the double Vulcan, I will have failed this run. I've yet to meet one that can outsmart Bullet. What? Is that a, is that a, is that a heavy... <laughs> if you're quoting things from Team Fortress 2 that like the heavy says, I won't I won't get those references. So. Uh Sweeney Todd, yeah, that's another one. Although Sweeney Todd is like I know that more since it's the opera. More than I think I've I know the soundtrack more than I know the movie since I've sang things from it, that kind of stuff. I like how the outline is in red. It's like almost a dude-shaped. Dude-shaped outline. The venting is... Oh, okay, there's vents there. Okay, it's better than I thought. But I guess that's a sandwich for his shields, whatever that is. Uh, this is crazy. It's in Meet the Heavy. You haven't seen these. Uh, maybe I have. I don't remember, though. I know I haven't seen everything that's ever been on the internet, so I'm a failure. I haven't seen everything that's ever been on the internet. Alright, so at the store we either want to get a Vulcan or um, missile defense of some sort if we can. Or hacking. Hacking wouldn't be bad either. I was never huge into Team Fortress 2, so 
I don't, I don't, I don't get all the references. Okay, that's a good amount of scrap. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have nine jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. You know, the main thing I'm hoping from today's stream is that my synchronization will all, will finally all be lined up because I'm not capturing with a capture card in a separate thing today. So if I can get this set up permanently, I might actually improve the quality of my stream by a decent chunk. TFT was the greatest of all time in the Gmod shitpost era. Okay. Do you still watch Gmod video videos from seven years ago? Trick or treat. Hey, what's up, burger? Trick or treat. Uh, treat. Uh, I want treat. Oh, wait. I have to give you that, don't I? Well, damn. Okay. Does that mean I owe you treats, I guess? How are you doing, sir? Hope you're having a good one, man. Okay, that's a that's a missile you got there. We have ASB allies. You're egging my door right now. <laughs> no, you damn kids. You damn kids and your tricksy tricks or treatsers. Okay, don't hit my weapons. Nice, we dodged a missile. Been better, but it's just stress you're encountering. I, I I've been feeling. I understand that feeling. But I hope, I hope you feel better. Me too. I hope we both feel better. Forgot to bring my boots to college from home, so my cowboy costume will be a bit lacking. <laughs> cowboy costume? Is it a kinky cowboy costume? Is it leather chaps and doing assless chaps or something? <laughs> you want treat of becoming an NG. Oh, okay. I can make you the NG. Explosive ash. There's cloaking. Okay, I don't care about this. I can keep the repair bomb for now. All right, so explosive ash. You just overheard you saying something about your setup. What did I switch up? Well, basically this morning, Burger, when I was started to stream, out of nowhere. Need you with the two hundred seventeen Terminator two hundred seventeen bonus twenty one treat B. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, my friend. Um, I had horrible, um, something with my OBS or my, um, whatchamacallit, capture card, uh, Elgato capture card was making so that no audio was coming from my gaming PC to my streaming laptop and it was just static. And I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out what setting I could change and nothing was fixing it. I think it's a OBS update or a elgato update issue and i couldn't get it fixed and i didn't want to not stream so i really quickly installed streamlabs obs on my gaming pc plugged in my camera and my um something else my my audio setup all into this computer so i switched up everything real fast and so started an hour late but i think this setup might actually eventually be better in the long run because people complain about synchronization issues all the time and i think that's because of my capture card going to a separate uh, PC, hey, free 15 hole damage, thanks. Or free 5 plus, free 6 hole damage, great. So, um, hopefully this change I made will be something I can actually keep as a permanent change. I just gotta get used to the new setup and fix settings and all that, so. It was a happy Halloween, your shit broke. <laughs> it's what it was for me this morning. Assless chaps during winter are a power move. <laughs> That's right. Uh, uh, your cowboy costume is actually a pretty lazy costume. Uh, you're taking education of becoming an engineer, so it always works. Okay. Explains why you seem much brighter. Yeah, I need to fix my camera settings and everything. Um, I just, I just really quickly got it all set up, but hopefully it will be better in the long run. I think it will be. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Oh my god, that's a lot of humans. Alright, uh, alright. So let's have... 
So if you go there, you go there. I don't have an ASB to deal with, right? No, I don't. Okay, good. So I can do this. Lock all the doughs. I don't like how this venting is just for this one room. I don't, I don't like that. I can't vent. I can't vent these side rooms without venting my doors guy. Do you use uh, do you use Streamlabs OBS Burger? I know that Shogi does, and when he told me about it, I didn't even know it existed. But now I'm hoping it'll actually be better than what I had been using. I had just been using OBS Studio standalone. Okay, you use you use what I was using up until today. So I'm so used to that. I'm gonna have to get used to changing this because. Uh, I'm so used to being able to look at my other computer and changing OBS stuff and changing scenes. I don't know how I'm going to change scenes now with it being on my same computer. I might have to do something with hotkeys so that I can do it while in-game and stuff. It's going to be kind of annoying. But maybe maybe it'll be worth. I don't know. All right, one, uh, one, two, three. Yeah. You use hotkeys. Uh, you haven't got the cojones just yet to do the Streamlabs OBS. Well, I kind of wasn't planning on it, but kind of got forced to it. We'll see how I like it. Streamlabs OBS, very similar. It is. The good thing is I was able to... Because it's so similar, I was able to find all my settings and stuff really fast. Um, it's just going to be a very different setup that I'm going to have to get used to. So... Alright, am I going to use cloaking on the bomb? Yes. Oh, one little... Oh, that's cool. There's like a little red laser thing around the eye. That's interesting. No surrender. You worry of using similar elements that others use? You just really like how your stuff is set up? Yeah. I mean, when you've been streaming for a long time... If you like it, then you better put you're going to like what you're used to. Like it, you better put we got 100 bits to close the door. Hello, Ren. Just joined. Hope I didn't miss much. Nope, not much. Just me whining about my stream settings not working. <laughs> uh, the poot bird. I don't know what that is. Look for the ship. Oh, uh, you have a missile. Okay, that's fine. So if I do this and this, I don't have to worry about venting. Whoever made the ship mod is a mega mind looking ass. Okay, <laughs> I forgot to cloak. Chat, stop distracting me. Oh crap. Uh you are actually getting wrecked by that thing though. Cloak that. Nice. This was made by Dabuk. D-A-B-U-C. I think that is a uh I believe Dabuk is a YouTube viewer viewer because I didn't I didn't recognize the name from chat, but they could also be or they I shouldn't say he uh, But it could be that they're a lurker So Dabuk if you're there, thank you for the ship. It's really cool Cloaking animation for the ship is a hat the heavy can wear. Oh, is it really I need to look at that I didn't I didn't look at that either. I need to see cloaking Hey David Rosenberg with the three months I know I've been absent for several weeks since because you had a lot of school. Well, glad to be ba uh, glad to have you back, my friend. Apparently, my um, my sub notification didn't go off, but it could just be delayed. So hopefully, that will go off eventually. Yeah. Oh gosh, two abandoned sectors, huh? I don't have long range scanners, so I kind of think I should go double. Let's let's do it. Kenny's not here. Let's go double abandon so I can rub it in his face. He missed double abandon. No notification. It might go off eventually. Sometimes there's a delay with Streamlabs. But also there could be an issue with um, sub notifications too. I have it. Actually, let me see if I can. If I click on it. If you like it, then you better put some no, bits in it. No, that was the bits. If you like okay. it, then you better put some bits uh, in it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And so has Hello, Ren. Up? Just joined. Hope <laughs> I didn't miss much. Um, nope, I was just holding the doors replayed. So it hasn't come up yet on Streamlabs, so there's a delay there. Do I want a weapon? I could possibly get a 50 scrap 
Vulcan. I feel like that's worth going for. Do it. 50 scrap swarm missile. Not really worth. Double abandon the gift that keeps on taking. Nice. Starting Kestrel Street. See, and you already have an opportunity to get cloaking if you sell the Ion Stunner. Yeah, go for it. Well, if you sell the Ion Stunner, can you even do any damage, I guess is the question. Cloak the second part of that. Uh, you're still Sector 1. I mean, getting Sector 1 cloaking is awesome, but... If you don't, if you screw your offense for it, it's probably not worth. Because you can't kill ships to get scrap, so. Okay, alright. Um, alright, so we got our one store here. One, two, three. If I could sell the swarm and the repair for a, a Vulcan, that would be nice. Except we're on cloaking, isn't that crucial? It can be amazing, though. I wouldn't say it's crucial, but it can be insanely strong. Oh, please don't hack weapons or... Okay, engine's kind of bad, too. Only a single shield, so let's do this. Put that. Oof! He tried to miss my weapons. I mean, I would never turn down Sector One Cloak, but if it's the if it's the choice between getting that or being actually able to kill your enemies, you got to be able to kill your enemies, or else you're never getting you're never getting enough scrap for your run. Although, if you have enough scrap Sector One for cloaking, I'm guessing you're not playing on hard mode. Would be my guess. Last time you got Sector One cloaking, you got your ass clapped trice while trying to run away from missile fights. Interesting. Okay, 67 scrap. Well, we need fuel from the store, if nothing else. Okay. Flack, well, as much as I love you, Flack, you are not high on our list of things we need to get right now. Vulcan is really the only other weapon we need to get. So what I might do is... I have to buy all the fuel. All three fuel. I think I might sell repair and try to get the swarm missile online. Because having a little extra offense would be nice, but I don't want to spend money on it because it's kind of a waste. So I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. And pre ignite the swarm missile there. Just tuned in for a second. I thought that gun was meant to be something else poking out from his waist. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you look at this, you're like. Why is that placement so suggestive? This is not an O-Penis ship, okay? No, no O-Penis is here. <laughs> that was your first thought, too? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know how to fire that. But hey, that's, wow. Value point and shields, eh? I got pre-igniter. This ship starts with pre-igniter. Super toaster. Okay, we're just going to do this. Okay, I didn't dodge either of those. We need to dodge the third one. Okay, we dodged zero shots, even when one of those dodges was at 82% uh, dodge, so thanks, game. Thanks for being a piece of crap. Okay, great. We're not allowed to dodge in our game, apparently. Looks like he's got his hands on his hips too. <laughs> uh, this is not a this is not a sexual ship, even though you could see his intern, internal internal organs. It's it's totally, it's definitely a plutonic ship. I don't know if that makes sense. All right. Um, so we've already seen our store. I want power, which I can't afford yet. How many jumps do we have? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we'll go this way. Okay, investigate quest marker. Okay, we can hit that. One, two, three, four. 
I wonder if I need level two sensors for this. Well, I can't afford them even if I would. So let's go here first. Manage this ship with a glaive. I mean, I feel like the Vulcan is the perfect weapon for this ship. Right, I'm gonna try to get the missile offline. Oh, actually. Okay. Oh, looks like we're not getting the missile offline. That's fine. That's fine. I'll just, uh, I'll use one more missile to try, though. Okay. Got everything but the missile offline. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay, I just saw his cloak. Somebody said that's a hat? Looks like it's his weird-shaped head. You crazy? It looks like a weird-shaped head. It's the cloaking. <laughs> God, that's so crazy looking. You can really see the difference when you have man weapons with Vulcans. That was very noticeable. Oh, yeah. Well, it also helped. It made a difference because um, this person's max trained as well. That's a great weapon with Vulcan, actually. Even much better than the uh, than that thing. So, if I do this, I hope this is not a store we're about to get. I can have that. Tushu has been so generous with ads for bits recently. You love it? Nice. Get that missile offline. Beautiful. Wow, this is the third ASB allies I've had. It's crazy. Man, you got Vulcan is basically giving it steroids. Well, yeah. I mean, again, you got to take into account. Um, oh, crap. I actually let him get a shot off. That it's a max train, and that's one of the best things about Vulcan is you get your training so fast up with it. Uh, going there. It's a hat heavy can wear. What the heck? Three ally ASB. You really see one? Well, it's a thing that you only see in a... Uh, hey. Uh, cool. I would like you to be on piloting. Uh, it's something you only see on uh, in... Um, maybe a special event, but uh, mainly you only see it in Abandoned. And we've had two Abandoned sectors we've gone to, so that's the reason. If you hang out in Abandoned, you'll see more friendly ASBs. It's like the only friendly thing you get in Abandoned sectors. Okay. I'm actually going to hold off on the charge ion here. Okay. If I get the triple hit, that could be really good. Nice. Get doged missile. Beautiful. Nice. No shields for you. Get the missile offline. Or get dodged. Come on. Yeah, <laughs> no missile for you. LASB is more common in abandoned. You thought it was a random event. No. Uh, it is. Um, there is an event that you get in abandoned that has an ASB that's your ally. Should get a second Volton for more DACA. Oh, I'm trying. Hold the door. I'm, I'm hoping for it. What's your specialty? Reactor for 25? I think that's actually what it costs, but I'll take that deal. Right? Yeah, that's wasn't a bad deal. wasn't a great deal either. Slug Home Nebula, so we have green sectors to go to. Quest outside of Abandoned for Ally ASB, but extremely rare. Okay. I thought, I thought there was another one, but I thought it had to be in, like, the Rebel sector or something, but I don't remember. Uh, would you like payment? 10 damage for 50 scrap. Decline. Oh, I need level 202 for this sector as well. Um, oh, I already have that. Good. You can't hear it. wear your headphones and my cowboy hat. <laughs> Sad face. What? What kind of head, what kind of cowboy hat do you have that you can't wear headphones with it? Okay, well, I am about out of fuel, so where's my store? I've seen all of the empty jumps, and or the, all of the non-nebula jumps, no store yet. Uh, the Ally ASB is in Rebel? Okay. Do I want to sell drone parts? Yeah, let's do it. I 
I'd rather that was a missile selling, but that's fine. It's actually more your headphones fault because your cowboy hat doesn't fit over them. Oh, are you, are you probably have like over your headphones of some sort like that, I would guess. I never use those because they are, uh, I don't like, they always squish my ears. We talked about that on stream before. Squish my ears make me uncomfortable. Nice, good doge. No doges for me though. Come on, get that missile. Yeah. All right, all right, a little annoying, not terrible. We're fine, we took a little bit of damage. Okay, so do we want the slug quest? Sure, let's see if they'll give it to us. Damn it. Although fuel's actually pretty darn good, so I shouldn't be too sad about that. We were low on fuel. We were at one fuel and he gave us six, so. I actually agree, Rand, you don't like the ones that cover the entire ear? Yeah, I actually looked into one time trying to find some comfortable ones that were over ear, but all the ones that look like would not Squish my ears are like really expensive. That might be something I invest in eventually, but it's not high on my list of things I'm dying to upgrade. Okay. That's not going to get a lot, just a lot of jumps. We got to go up this way. Imagine the engine is in the butt and he's farting through space. <laughs> I completely agree. That's, that seems, seems exactly like what's happening. <laughs> All right, seven. So we have at least eight jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. We can get nine if we go up this way. Personally, can't stand earplugs. I used to not be able to, too, and then I just started wearing them for my stream. And <laughs> excuse me. And I eventually just got got used to them. So, but my choice was between over ear ones that hurt my ears, and these, and I decided after using them for a while that these were more comfortable for me. Oh, I shot down one of his shots. Cool. Okay, let's get weapons offline. Hope we don't take damage. Beautiful, now we're safe. FTL stands for farting through life. I think we all do that a little bit. Uh, if you think about it, rockets are basically farts, expanding gas to propel you forwards. Okay. All right. Healing burst since we got rid of our repair burst, I guess. When you run out of fuel, it's best to wait with or without distress signal. Uh, I always turn on my distress signal. I don't know if maybe there is some... Two, three, four, five, six, seven... If maybe there is some benefit to not having it on, but I think there's more of a chance of nobody showing up if you don't turn on your distress signal. Chase them? Damn, okay. At least I didn't lose a jump. Tell me Rocket is a fart bullet. That's right. What's up, Spire News? You're going to head to class. Hope you'll be back soon. Maybe the professor will let her early for class. Hope so, Zach Dog. For Halloween, yeah. Now, that ship was an image to start my viewing of the stream with. Uh, what image? We get all five? I think we get all five here. Yeah, I don't think there's any reason to not use the distress beacon. I would agree with David Rosenberg there. I don't think there's a reason to not do it. There's not a reason to not do it. And that's a double negative, so do it. There's not a reason to not, never, not, never, not, not do that. Nice shield's coming just in time. Shield's still up in time. He's got pretty good weapons, but... Oh, God, that could have hit us. That would have been bad. Now we're safe. The ship? Yeah, this is a cool it's a cool little design. How are you doing, says Good to see you. Distress beacon off, ironically, is less beneficial than getting a pirate encounter with distress on. Because you can at least salvage a ship. Right. Hey, okay, we got a lot of scrap for the store. Uh, but let's go free it. Well, if we lose a double jump, that would screw us. Let's go ahead and go here. We got plenty. Happy Halloween to you, my friend. 
All right. No Vulcan yet. I swear, finding a second Vulcan Glaive Beam X uh, four power weapons always always rough. Okay, so I'm hoping for Vulcan, but for now, let's actually get power and then an extra dodge. I could get third shield, but I'm going to hold off on that for a little bit here. Chance of the nobody come to your location is much higher when the distress beacon is off. Yeah, that, I believe. I That seems right to me as well. That's a lot of heavy lasers you have there, sir. I feel like the heavy weapons guy should have a bunch of heavy lasers. <laughs> oh, wait. Check out, check out the cloaking. This is so weird looking. Oh, it's a, it's like a little bird. Oh, now I see. So it's basically the same shape of his head, but it's a bird of some sort. So I guess the hat that you can get of his is a bird, I guess. Huh? Hey, what's up, Spectre? How are you doing, my friend? That is very odd. Yeah, that is pretty weird looking. Let him live. Nice. We want info. All right, there we go. So that was the uh, Slug Homeworld's quest. He has a bird hat. Okay. Is it like the same shape as his head? Because it looks very similar to his head shape. Where does the ion come from? Um, it's firing right here. So he has like a Gatling gun, I think is what the heavy's weapon is. So I think the idea for this ship was that you put two Vulcans underneath it. And we're trying to find the second Vulcan currently. All right, Zoltan Homeworlds. More store chances and a chance to result in shield. Let's do it. Do you know you could find anti-biobeam in stores? Really? Never, ever heard of that ever before, ever. The gun is called Natasha. Okay, nice. All right, I should get third shield. Hey, what's up, Saucer? How you doing? What is this ship? It's awesome. <laughs> this is from Dabuk. Da Dabuk. Das Buk. Oh, crap. I cloaked. I didn't mean to cloak. Crap. I just screwed myself. All right, well, we got the uh, we got the first laser offline. However, we also got a fire in our weapons room. Oh, God. We have all the fires. Oh, my God, we have all the fires. I have no shields. Stop having all the fires on me. Do not want all the fires. Okay, got the fire beam thrown offline. Alright, alright. I don't actually think we took any damage there. Just, we were a little bit on fire. Just, just a little bit on fire. Just a little bit. And Frederick Frederick Craft with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. Welcome to the randoms, my friend. I don't know why um, one of the subs didn't go through. That's weird. The ship is really clever. <laughs> uh, you thought that was an alt weapon? It's Sasha. Okay. So apparently the name of this weapon is Sasha. Sasha and the alternate weapon is Natasha. Natasha. You'll be lurking hard. Work has been very busy, but you'll still be paying attention. We can't earn him. Says, enjoy your lurking, my friend. Um, go ahead and do that. We still have enough for a Vulcan with that. The feel when my sub still didn't go through it. It was probably because it was like a... I don't know. Sometimes there's like a... Thing where... If you're just informing of a refreshed sub or something, it doesn't go through or something. I don't know. Or you're, it's announcing that your sub got refreshed or something like that. Maybe that doesn't always go through or something. Good dodge. Now I can do this. Beautiful. I get that missile offline, please. Of course, you'd get one more missile shot off. Hey, but we doged it. Get doged, sir. Natasha slows enemies down, but has lower damage. Okay. 
If you click the share button, it could be that the share button instead of the new sub button for whatever reason. I don't know. Okay, so I have one fuel. So let's go to the quest and hope we get fuel from this slug quest thing. Tail them without being noticed. Slug crew. Okay. A lot of lasers you have there, sir. You all see the new Steam layout? Uh, I don't think I've looked at that yet. Good doges. Good, you're not leaving. Nobody leaves. Um, let's go for a crew kill, maybe? Oops. <laughs> By crew kill, I mean killing your crew by destroying your ship. Damn it, no fuel. Slug repair gel, but no fuel. Of course. You haven't paid attention because you were trying Vibe on... NA Vibe? Vibe on Fallout 3? I don't know what that is. Has pictures of games in the library section. Oh, I'll have to look at that. All right, let's turn on our beacon. Sad thing is, is even though we're in a nebula, it doesn't count as a nebula. So, um, so that's ten scrap per fuel. That is just under. Uh, it's still a bad deal, but I'm gonna do this. Because we should find a store here. Best deal. Is that a mod? No, that's not a mod. That is just... That is just when you run out of fuel and you get a slug to come save you. That's what happens. Oh my god, it's a bomber and a bunch of NGs. Okay. Uh, I mean, not NGs, old hands. Ugh, with double freaking... What the hell is this ship? That is seven... Uh, that's five weapon power plus four drone offensive power. Jesus, man. It's a good thing we're OP as hell. Get exploded on Zoltans. Alright, Vulcan, I need you to spin up, like, faster. Get at least one of these burst laser twos offline. Are we really not going to get any of them? No. No. Alright, that was pretty good dodges, though. Crap. Please uh, don't die, sir. Yeah. There we go. Now we're safe. Freaking Zoltan energy bombers, man. They're probably the worst uh, enemies in the game, apart from Lanius bombers. And of course, you know, cloaked auto scouts that have missiles that are running. But <clears throat> Vibe is a recent meme, and people say it when they mean they're just chilling out. Oh, okay. Want to be sure to say Happy Halloween. What's up, nerdy? Happy Halloween to you, my friend. Appreciate that. <laughs> the ship does have a massive O penis factor sticking right out in front. <laughs> There's no O penis here. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, one, two, three. Let's get one power. This store, I'm hoping for Vulcan and backup battery. Those would be great things to get. What am I looking at? It's the heavy. TF2 Heavy. Or Heavy Weapons Guy is the name of this ship. What's up, Bibsy? That was 66% dodge, was it? Not even surprised. That is... I think that's four burst laser twos in the last three ships. That is more than one burst laser two per ship that I've been that I've ran into here. that. We 
just should be fine because we can cloak black too because black too is terrible but still game is annoying okay now get out of here filthy humans uh, I do need fuel all right I'll take a four fuel deal you speak my language. The language of, I don't want to get stranded with no fuel again. The empty hallway to the doors and sensors is the max op -ness. This right here. <laughs> max op -ness. God. Uh, okay. All right, store. Looks like we're not getting Zoltan Shield quest unless I dive, which... You know what? I have cloaking. It's probably worth a dive to, to look for the quest. Well, there's a flak. Still no, um... Thing. You know what? Stealth weapons with Vulcan is huge. Um... If I got double Vulcan with stealth weapons, that would actually be insane. Let me get that. Because higher level cloaking is so good with stealth weapons and a Vulcan. I'm gonna knock at the flak, because really the only weapon I want is... Vulcan. I guess chain laser can be similar. It's confirmed. Rand speaks. I don't want to get stranded again with no fuel. What? We get all the fuel since I'm going to just... We're going to plan on diving here. One, two, three, four, four, five. Okay. Okay. that okay uh, I finally got to join stream and I'm greeted with a heavy ship I'm so glad I did this <laughs> well welcome captain the kid it's funny that so many people apparently a lot of people have good TF2 good memories of TF2 Rand slugger pearl gel is so good why did you sell it um, is there something wrong with your shift key by the way. A repair gel closer to godhood. I don't know what y'all are talking about. Y'all are weird. There we go. That should be good. Oh, that was a lot of dogs in a row. Okay. I'm getting a lot of dogs in a row, too. Okay, so we have one chance at Zoltan Shield here. So do I take that one chance or do, do I not dive? I think it's worth a dive. It's worth a chance. When a person types like that, it means they're being sarcastic and or making fun of someone. I assumed, but it seems like a lot of work. Oh, well, if I go for... If this is Zoltan Shield, I would be triple diving. I don't think a triple dive is worth Zeldon Shield. Well, am I already triple diving? I'm double diving because when I go here, I can get this one. You know what? Let's triple dive for a chance of Zeldon Shield. Let's do it. Ah, it's freaking Pulsar. Trolley ass game is trolley. <laughs> diving is big, yikes. Sure can be, that's for sure. Of course, it would hit my weapons and shields and not hit his weapons. But, thankfully, I'm better at this game than this guy, so I played that better and made use of the Pulsar. Still, it's kind of bullshit that it hit my weapons and didn't hit his weapons. God damn it, I freaking hate Pulsars. Uh, okay. I'm going to do this. We have stealth weapons. I'm going to just buy time while our stuff spins up and give him a chance to not do damage to us. Hey, I got my shields back. Okay. Nice. He actually hit none of our important systems that time. Unless he hit cloaking, but if he hit cloaking, that's actually great for us. Pulsar fight with primary damage being Vulcan, yeah, well. 
We just need a little RNG to not have him do three uh, ion damage to our weapon. That's what we needed. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're good. No surrender. Imagine getting three ion damage on weapons. Imagine. My ion shit the anti drone, and then a Vulcan shot hit it again. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I won't have cloaking immediately, but that's fine. We'll have time to get the cloaking. Hopefully. Big giant missile and a flak. And a bunch of humans on the ship. Great. Lovely. Please don't tell me they got a shield down before this thing. Okay, that's good. My flak is fine. I have to be used level two cloaking with our nice ninety seven percent dodge. Beautiful. And he apparently also has ninety percent seven percent dodge. <laughs> well no, he just has freaking four shields, so we can jump at any time. However, when you have multiple dies, what you do is you don't jump, jump as soon as possible. You jump as smart as possible. Crap, I don't have my shields up. Nah, but I got them up in time. Because we want to give our, our we want to give our cloaking as much time as possible to get back online. Dodge that, okay. Should be able to actually get the fuel from this. 100% dodge, beautiful. Let's okay, so read this for a little bit. Nice, we even dodged it so we can wait till our cloak becomes a perfect dive. Killed our enemy, took zero damage, and can recover before going to the next fight. Wish I could get power though. Do need a little bit of power here. Alrighty, let's do it. Dive number two. Is that called a Vulcan minus one? What? Oh, okay. Yeah, I forgot. Diving in a nebula is a, a is an ion storm. That's right, or a plasma storm. Okay, this is gonna be annoying. At least he doesn't have. Uh, at least he doesn't have. What? what am I glad that he doesn't have uh, boarding? I guess. Turn this off. Get my charge iron to spin up, or my Vulcan to spin up, and hopefully get the missile offline. Uh, we we'll probably take a missile shot. So we can dodge here. Well, that was the worst thing you could have hit. God, and I can't I can't send help over to repair that either. This guy's dodging 50% of my shots right now. Oof, okay, we dodged that one. 
Oh crap, there was a fire in my doors I didn't see. Look at that shit. Come on, game. Don't die, human. Okay, his weapon dropped line, finally. Died. Is there still a fire in there? Okay, I think the fire went out. This weapon's offline. Beautiful. Okay, let's check if it's safe. Okay. Whew. All right, I can do... Uh, diving here was actually good, because now I can actually buy power and stuff. Okay, all right, all right, we recovered. Uh, burst laser offline, but missiles online. Yeah. It was just, a, that was, I mean, I took way more damage than I wanted to there, but I didn't, I haven't been able to find backup battery, so we're kind of been screwed by our system choices at stores here. Okay, one more dive here. Um, this is going to be, I think, a regular dive. I don't think it'll be half power, but I still want power. this um, 5 10 15 18 power so 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 okay yeah that's that should be enough power for what we need right now pure butt clenching <laughs> pure but clenching is that what you said okay I gotta deal with more borders humans if you, could, if you could go ahead and get vented that would be great there we go okay I'll leave one of those i can do this go here can i get that missile offline not before he fires another one sadly hey we doge it though beautiful come on in humans and get vented all right, we're going to kill all of these guys that we uh, dove on just to assert our dominance. I may be diving, but that doesn't mean I can't kill you. That's right. Get dove on, game. Get doved on. Okay. Welcome back. Okay, let's see here. 162 scrap. We're hoping for a Vulcan, and I didn't get Zoltan Shield quest, sadly. That should increase their fear of you. Their elite ships are consistently falling to you. Yeah, I feel like you should get more reward, but I guess the devs didn't want to reward you for doing that. <laughs> You're not diving on them. They're diving on me. <laughs> You're stuck in here with me. Oh, all right. Get shot, drone. <laughs> that poor drone. I'm going to the bomb. I am bomb. Get dozed. Okay, beautiful. That is what I think whenever you board with crystal dudes. <laughs> You're stuck in here with me. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Uh, are there any other games like this? You've 200 plus hours in FTL need more space stuff in your life? Um, there are other games that are kind of like FTL, but I've yet to find one that's nearly as replayable. Um, Shortest Trip to Earth seems to try to be the next generation of it, but it doesn't have nearly as much replayability in my opinion. Um, 
we're gonna play our yeah short trip to earth we're gonna play um a game that we said the other day that i can never remember the name of that came out recently that's kind of like fdl it's a great description of that game i know any teleport ship plus reconstructive teleport equals nice uh with clone bay yes otherwise it's not it's not the end all be all Crying Sons. Thank you, Yemzes. Crying Sons. There's another one that's... It's not the same. Abandoned Ship might actually be, gameplay-wise, the closest to FTL. But it's not space. It's, uh... That's, that's like, pirate. Pirate ship type thing. But the, uh, manning systems and stuff is very similar. Get that flak offline, that'd be great. Okay. Ooh, get blasted, NG. Space is the place, mean gene. Oh yeah. Okay. Don't know that reference, but okay. No surrender. Okay. Wow, there's only one store? Okay, there's a rebel sector, that's why. Alright, let's get, um... Man, if only I could find systems. That's, like, all I need right now. Um... Let's do this, I guess. We'll just get our max doge. Max doge this I... Max dodges that I like to get because after this is diminishing returns. Wow, one, two, three, four, five, six or seven weapon power here. And four humans on my ship. Okay. Oh, lovely. Okay. Oh, nice. They ran away. Great. Thanks for not fighting me. <laughs> stupid humans. You're so stupid. Okay. Do that. Cloak that. A lot of humans in my heel bay. And they're so confused about where to go right now. Alright, yeah. I'll tell you where we can go. The hell! Off my ship! That's where we can go. Get the hell off my ship! Am I winning this fight? Yeah. No surrender. You filthy humans. You can board on my ship and then just go, sorry, that was a mistake. We thought this was our ship. I lost my keys and it happened to open this door. Uh, space Pirates is older, but you could look at Space Pirates and Zombies. I've not heard of that one. Is that a good one? I don't know if it'd be that good if I've never heard of it before. <laughs> uh, why Pirates not have Rockman, Engies, or Zoltans in their holding cells? Only humans. I don't know. Space Pirate I found yesterday was Void Bastards. But it's more of a Doom-like than anything else. I have played Void Bastards. Uh, that's a pretty fun game. My issue with Void Bastards is, kind of like other games, the gameplay gets pretty monotonous after a while, in my opinion. Wow, four shields in Sector 6. A. Eh? Uh, okay, this guy can't get through my shields, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to stop him from running with a Vulcan as my offense. Okay, well, we got all three hits. That's. I need to keep hitting to have a chance here. Vulcan missing is fine. It's the ion that we want to hit. Okay, there we go. Now that we're spun up, we might be able to get this. Oh my god. He was dodging no ions, then he started dodging every single Vulcan. Alright, well, we got there. Nice. Uh, I'm tired of these borders on this mofoing ship. That's right. Ion blast. Okay, double ions. Not bad. Did you ever try to look at the game Spice, Space Pirates and Zombies? No, Rant. Uh, rant. I'm Rant. No, Emsus. I didn't. <laughs> but that's what I was saying. I've never heard of it, so I just assume it's that if nobody's ever mentioned to it, mentioned it to me, and you know I'm kind of known for playing FTL. 
that if it's FTL like I don't know why nobody's ever mentioned it to me I feel like it can't be that good if I've never heard of it you are ran now welcome to my stream guys <laughs> damn it I gave away my stream on accident again I hate it when I do that okay, let's do this and this you don't think I haven't heard of it because of it it's not good? Why do you think I've not heard of it? Because it's older? Are you sure you're Rand 118? You look kind of different today. Very green and zombie-like. <laughs> well, hey, just because I've all of a sudden developed a taste for brains doesn't mean I'm not the real Rand. All that sweet, sweet stream buddies. Oh, yes. You just, you have no idea how rich I am. The reason for that is because th there's not an amount of richness to me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, it seems that missiles have a higher chance to hit despite high dodge. No, it's just it's positive whatever that's called. Um, wow, this sector layout kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. I can go one, two, three, four, five, and I miss out on two jumps. Five, six, seven, I guess. Guess it's not the worst. We're not going to a pulsar. I wish these two connected. The store connected here. I go one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'd be better. But oh well. It's not like FTL. I really enjoyed the game, but it's a longer game. Okay. So is it not a roguelike then? Your description saying it's not like FTL makes it sound like it might not be a roguelike. Like FTL is crap. I forgot to fire my thing here. We've been feeling so shit lately. I haven't been eating or sleeping very well. It's taking a toll on me. Uh, sorry to hear that, we Titans. I've been feeling not the greatest either. I feel like it's like that time of year to like be kind of meh. I think isn't there like a higher rate of depression during holiday seasons or something? People are like alone or something. I do have to have two shields. Firebomb. Oh, great. Great. Right into my weapons. Cool. Okay, I don't have to focus. Don't hit my weapons. Alright, O2's fine. Oh, I actually got the fire out of time. Nice. Please, missile. Go away. Alright, we got cloak in time. Nice. The cold and the dreariness of winter has been absolutely effing you emotionally. Yeah, I can, I can definitely understand. My, my depression usually comes from like just being lonely, you know. Like, even though I get to hang out with y'all all the time, you know, just being, being alone at your house all the time can be kind of depression can kind of make you a little depressed. You never want to leave the house because you can't keep your heated blanket wrapped around you outside. <laughs> I should wear my Snuggie around outside. Sure, I wouldn't get weird looks like I'm a homeless person with a blanket wrapped around my, my body. Spaz is a lot of fun. That's Space Pirates and Zombies. I'll have to check that out. You worked a full day yesterday before working all night. You enjoy the chills actually sleeping in this time of the year. Effing sucks. Chicken Kiev is a cloaking, is cloaking back. What? I don't know. What the hell? No idea what. I swear I don't know what the hell you people talk about sometimes. All right, let's go to the asteroid field. Unless he runs. I have enough scrap. Let's go to the store. I need, a, I need you to tell me something. Whenever a person has numbers in their username, I always read them by single digit. Like you're Rand 118. Is that weird? Uh, no, that's fine. I don't find that excessively weird or excessively normal. <laughs> Rand, you're not alone. You have us. Thanks, Spire. Thanks. You read Rand 118 as Rand 118? Yes, that's how I read it. It's Rand 118, right? <laughs> you're all correct. Nobody's wrong. Um, I kind of want to get crew here. The store kind of sucks. I cannot... Well, I do have systems here. I was gonna about, about to say I can't get a thing with systems. It's just not the systems I want because I want hacking and uh, my... Uh, 
backup battery. All right, let's get mind control, help deal with borders, and let's get shield trained NG. Now that I have mind control, I'm not as worried about borders, so. And I don't want to swap out Clone Bay because I want to save scrap for finding my Vulcan and getting it online. We have one more sector. I think it's a green sector. Try to get Vulcan online. So I'll get one, one power is what we'll get. You have us. Now give me your address for the party tonight. <laughs> Everyone I've ever met always says them in sets of two. I'm the only one who does the single digit. Well then, I guess you're weird. Look at these burst laser twos. Holy crap, man. So many burst laser twos. So many burst laser twos today. But we're going to take a first laser two shot, 100%. Unless we... Damn. Oh, come on, he's dodging just enough. He's dodging just enough to not take damage. And to also keep his shields up. Oh my god. Unfair ship is unfair. Alright, we got one of the burst lasers offline. So that. Insane amounts of dodges on this guy, but he's an auto scout, so that's just normal. There we go. No more freaking cloaking for you, dirtbag. Seriously, look at this guy's dodges. Well over 50%, I'm pretty sure. Uh, rave at Rand's neighborhood. Bring your socks and sandals. <laughs> Unlimited cookies, that's right. But there's one thing I can promise in my party, it's that we will never run out of cookies. Uh, just started pouring there. Yeah, it's been storming like crazy in Dallas too, M says. Let me fly to Texas in under four hours to go to his house. <laughs> supposed to play some Halloween DNT tonight, but that got canceled. Ah, oh, sorry to hear it. Never trust these rebels. Never trust, oh God, I an intruder drone. Go away. Nobody likes you. Nobody's your friend. Okay. Mind control's fine, actually. I'm going to use this while I can. He's going to depower it, and I should get my power back, I think. Yeah, I get my power back. Beautiful. Uh, crap. No, no. Keeping up here. Uh, I've been such a mess lately, but I'm broke, so I have to get my shit together to donate plasma to have some money to last you till next Friday. Yikes. Donating plasma to be able to blast for money wise? Damn. Do you have a job, We Titans? Oh, that's what you've been trying to get a job lately, haven't you? Sperm donation, you actually get a lot of money. <laughs> Unrelated. Uh, Eve on Live is having a Halloween event where 100% of everything a player has when killed in PvP drops to be picked up. Seeing the high security space is way more dangerous. Holy crap. Taylor, Rand is a Keebler elf. Yes. <laughs> if Keebler elf means I have unlimited amounts of cookies, this is correct. This is correct. Never leave home without my cookies. I swear these guys are just having insane dodges, man. How, with double ions, am I not keeping all of their shields down all the time? That's what I need to know. How? How am I not constantly keeping their shields all the time with double ions? It's easier to compare spaz with Avorion, except it's top-down view and ships don't come in 79 different blocks. Interesting. Interesting. Well, I did enjoy Avorion. I'm not sure if I'm going to play any more Avorion until, like, it's more done because... I feel like now that I beat the game, designing ships is fun, but like I don't have anything else. I'm the the end game. I feel like could use some fleshing out a little bit, but it's really cool game. 
if I donated as often as I could, you could pay my rent with plasma. You do, but it's not enough to live decently. Yikes, that's... I don't like the idea of just giving pieces of myself all the time. Feels like I'm slowly killing myself, but I'm sure it's probably not like that at all. All right, Doc, try to survive a crew, please. 24 scrap for four, four damage. I guess that's worth. You've been fighting government for disability for two and a half years. Yeah, I remember you talking about the other day. Aren't rents in America literally AIDS? Rents? Well, it depends on where you live. But yeah, kind of the, one of the big debates that I hear or a lot, in a lot of the political forums is how minimum wage is so low and you're required to have make twice your twice your monthly rent when you uh, apply for like apartments and stuff. And it's like that that doesn't really add up mathematically and stuff for a lot of people. I think blood is pretty nice, honestly. It's money for a good cause. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad people do it. I just... I don't like... Doing that. I am... I'm not super... Um, what's the word? Um, cringy. I don't know what the word I'm trying to think of is. But I don't... I don't like needles. That's that's what I'll say. I don't like needles. Crap! I forgot to do that. At least I didn't have Not a fan of needles myself. Used on me. Not a fan of needles being used on me. I guess is what I, I will say. Uh, you hate the needles, yeah? I've thought about grand strategy games like Stellaris. I've played Stellaris on stream. And that was pretty fun, but that one, some of those games are so complex that I just, I get lost in it. And you have to spend, see a lot of the games that y'all mentioned, recommend me playing, are great games. But they're games that it's like you have to play a ton to make progress. And, you know, like, if I wanted to play WoW on stream, if I didn't play only WoW, I would make very, I, I wouldn't make a lot of progress, you know. So many, so many games out there are such are huge time commitments to actually progress through. That you have to like really dedicate a lot of time for to to progress there. Minimum wage was created so a father could support his wife and two kids on a single income. Forty hours a week has become so warped since then. Is that what it's created for? Yeah, it definitely can't do that. That's for sure. Not in the U.S. anyway. Not anywhere anywhere I've lived in the last ten to twelve years. Organs have a cap on how much they can cost in America. What? <laughs> organs? Who sells organs? I'm pretty sure that's only in the black market, right? Really? Because I can sell them for big money on the street. Uh, <laughs> small house is near 60k euro, about 68 to 69k USD. Zoltan Homeworlds or NJ Homeworlds, what would you choose? Uh, if I don't have Zoltan... Uh, Shield, definitely Zoltan Homeworlds. So Zoltan Shield is a game winning purchase or find. Eve Online doesn't take a ton of time to make progress as long as you have your skill queue managed. You're always progressing. Interesting. I might have to look into Eve Online because I've never played it, but um, I've heard lots of good things and I like I like Elite Dangerous. All right, definitely want backup battery. I was hoping for hacking. Drone recovery arm, defense scrambler. Is there a hole repair drone here? No. All right, how many gems do I have? So I need 10 fuel. Um, food teleporter with this crappy crew? No. I'm still hoping. I'm still hoping. We have a chance at like one or two more stores to try to find Zoltan Shield. So I'm going to skip the stress. Head this way just to give myself the best chance of finding Vulcan here. Pretty much person who is the least afraid of needles, I know. If you got needle injections into my nasal septum before and didn't even flinch or feel any pain. Jesus, that sounds horrifying. <laughs> God. Ugh. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a fan of the needles. If you want the rundown, we can talk in PMs. You're relatively new, but you can give you the rundown. Sure, if you want to PM me info about it or maybe give me links to good info on it, I would, I'd be interested in checking it out. But I mean, it's an MMO, and so it's like, I just, I can't imagine that 
I'd be able to commit enough time to it to make decent progress, but I'll have to research it, look into it. When I had surgery, I think you had needles on your legs. It wasn't pleasant. Okay. You were out. Did you miss much? I don't know, Super Toaster. <laughs> when people ask this, like, I don't know exactly how long you were gone. Maybe somebody in chat can tell you what you missed. I'm talking about needles. So, there you go. You mostly get needles in the mouth due to you having teeth issues. Ugh. That doesn't sound good either. What's right up, Brand? I see you got a heavy ship. That's right, Programmatic. How are you doing? I do have a heavy ship. Okay. Let's go ahead and close that. Got needles? You've gotten a tattoo and been in the psych ward for cutting. So a needle going to your skin doesn't bother me. Yikes. Okay. I don't think those are good reasons to not be afraid of needles. <laughs> but I guess they are reasons. Not afraid of needles because reasons. Yeah, all right, wow. All right, we got pretty good dodges there. Get these drones offline, because they are keeping my, uh, keep my stuff offline there. Yeah, doctors say this won't hurt that bad. The doctor told me, hold on to your chair. <laughs> Yikes. Hold on to your butts. I'm about to do something to your body you won't soon forget. <laughs> I can see that being something Samuel L. Jackson would say to you. <laughs> Just remember to anyone who has experience with Toon Boom or Harmony, the tutorials in the site seem really out to. I don't know, that's not that game. You can answer, answer questions later about Eve if I want. Okay. That's whatever, we Titans. Don't feel don't feel pressured to do it. If you have time and want to send me an article too about the game, I, I'd check it out. All right. All right, come on. This is probably our last chance for Vulcan. Come on, game. Last chance for Vulcan. Gimme. Come on, page two. Page two, I believe in you. Damn it. That's a really good store, though. Uh... Uh, but buying a flak and a burst laser too, really expensive and is not a Vulcan. But you know what? You can't get a Vulcan. That's a good second place. I could have got double charge on that. Actually, would have been really nice too. But let's just do that. Let's have all of the weapons, all of them. Okay. I did want to buy crew though. Let's get the fighting man. Oh, I am. A little scrap short of that, actually. Uh, damn. All right. All right, it's fine. All right. Who needs mantids? You like it because it's like Stellaris, but you're just one person rather than the whole empire? Okay, nice. Uh, there we go. Wow. Tell me you don't have four shields. Okay. Holy crap. All right, that's an eight power weapon system. Okay, nice. Go ahead and kill each other if you don't mind. Kill your friends. Do I like PvP content? No. We Titans, I usually don't like PvP games. The only one I've played consistently uh, that I've gotten into was uh, Smite and maybe a little bit of League of Legends, but not that much. Okay, we're gonna do this. Like this. You had your jaw wired shut once, and getting that out was no fun. The doctor put his hands on your hand before yanking metal out with pliers. Like some lovely, horrifying discussions going on in chat today. All right. These discussions are, are what I imagine the movie um, Hellraiser was like. Just a bunch of horrifying things happening to people. Uh, they weren't trolling a shot into the nasal symptom. It's supposed to be one of the most painful places to get a shot. She'd never seen anyone have no pain before. Can you feel anything? Are you dead inside, David Rosenberg? <laughs> but she's also never met me, and I am dead inside. So, you know, I got that going for me, which is nice. You're a wuss for pain, though. You don't mind needles or getting tats. Okay. Oh, man. I was hoping for not old drones, but okay. We should hopefully be okay here. 
Okay, I'll just kill your drone. How about that? How about that? Yes. Go do this. Just cloak at the beginning to give us time to get our stuff up. There's PvP and PvE content, but the risk of other players trying to kill you is always there. If you're smart, then the risk is small, but there. So you can't choose to not do PvP. See, I don't really like games that don't have an option to not PvP. Although I guess Elite Dangerous was kind of like that. There always was a bit of a risk, I think. But. You mean Saw? Do I mean Saw? Okay, I don't know. I haven't seen Saw or Hellraiser, because again, I don't like scary movies. I'm a little girl when it comes to scary movies. But I could see Saw being like what I was describing there too. You feel dead today? The gym's going to be rough. You can't avoid PvP. No, you can run away, but it's just like in real life. Someone can come up and stab you in front of police stations. Okay, is that... Is that, is that what your real life is like? Because <laughs> that's not what my real life is like. I don't know about you, but I've never been stabbed just, you know, real quick in the in front of the police station. Sounds plausible. <laughs> I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Okay. Go ahead and do this. Oh, time to get the pilot. That's fine. Uh, I had the perfect joke for that, but um, I'd probably be banned. <laughs> yes, please don't do a joke that will get you banned. So it wasn't a horror movie. It's just a movie full of juices. I don't think I want to watch a movie full of juices. I don't like drinking juice. And if it's juice of the Soylent Green kind, no thank you. Liquids might be the better words. Okay, all right. Okay. Sam the station. Okay. Well, unless we get a Vulcan Sector 8, our heavy weapons guy only has insane weapons, not the heaviest of weapons. Where did the flak, where did the burst laser 2 go? Okay, it's right here. All right. Must be his secondary weapon or something. All right. Where's my store with a Vulcan in it? Soft core splatter usually associated with horror. And I kind of don't get why. Okay. And Eve, there's different levels of security and police presence of systems. High security cops will pounce on anyone doing something illegal. May still likely die for the cops. Can stop the aggressor. Okay. All right. Um, I've not been lucky with Sector 8 stores lately. Okay, we'll do this. All right. Much humans on my ship. Uh, actually, the venting is not terrible if I do it this way. Go. Uh, you just fired a missile, so let's go ahead and cloak it. Which means I'm not cloaking the flak too, which is a little scary. Um, however, I can keep you from repairing that. The only weapons I don't want you to have online are the ones that you kept online. Congratulations. Nice. Aha! Come on, get it out. Get that off. Nice. Bam, get wrecked, sir. Beautiful. Oh, I have back. I keep forgetting I have backup battery. It's like I need more power. Wait, I have backup battery. Why am I not using it? Because I'm stupid. You got killed and lost a good amount of stuff outside of high security trade hub by a guy who was suicide ganking. He died and lost a ship, but because he was in a fragile transport ship, he still died even though the cops shot him. Suicide ganking. That sounds pretty insane. Suicide ganking, huh? Watch the store have anti-bio beam, glaive, and burst three. <laughs> well, watch me not find a store, really, is what it is. Um, 
Where is my best chance? Going down here for repair and looking here, or do I go up here? I don't really need the repair stuff, so I'm gonna go up here just to see if there's a store by the by the uh, base. Uh, Rand, you seem too too good at venting humans. Do you practice it in real life? <laughs> Who's asking? Who 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 called you? Did somebody call you? I don't know what they're talking about. I've never vented a human in my life. That's I I don't know. Never. They're a liar. They're lying. Whoever they are, they're lying. Uh, he practices it in FTL, then does for a living in real life. Does for a living in real life, yes. <laughs> Whatever that sentence may says, I agree with it. I made my first fortune in Eve from Suicide Ganks. Wow, Suicide Ganks. That's crazy sounding. Thing that happens because some people like to cause mayhem even if they get nothing in return the game is fun you're safe in high security space most of the time it's like in real life you're never really without risk unless you're docked inside an mpc station never fly a ship you can't afford to lose okay let's put that well i'm sure not getting any dodges um let's get his piloting gone so that he doesn't have any more dodges Okay, there we go. There's cloaking gone. Rand is a space lizard and his job is to vent all humans. How did you know? You've been you've been reading my bio, haven't you? My autobiography. Rand and the human space venting lifestyle. The human venting lifestyle. That is that is the name of my autobiography. Uh, it's basically just sacrificing my ship to destroy another, having a second account, picking the loot up. Okay. So you have to have two accounts to suicide bombing, or to suicide, uh, gank, huh? Just been reading my Tinder profile. <laughs> Alright, uh, I have a lot of scrap, so if this isn't a store, we're just gonna, like, fully upgrade our ship, I guess. Or you can have a friend to help you, okay. It's a pirate. Pirate, you're turning pirate. Pirate. That's the link for signing up for EVE Online. You get 1 million skill, free skill points when you use that link. All right, I will click on it. I don't know if I'll actually do it, but I'll click on it. Okay. All right. All right, you got a big old giant missile. Big old giant missile. I should have uh, mind controlled my this. Control the pilot. Uh, do we cloak that firebomb? Now nah, let's wait for the big missile. Damn. That is my O2 on fire, eh? Okay. Hopefully we'll be okay here. Oh, nice. This should actually get their engine killed. Uh, missile fired. Beautiful. We did get his cloaking offline. It'll get repaired before we can. Get our Vulcan fully spun up, I think. But I don't need any shields for this shit, apparently. You get stuff too if people use that link? Nice. Phone a friend. Share with a friend. Wow, I cannot dodge a, bo a bomb to save my life. That's fine. Okay. Can I get that missile offline, please? No surrender. Nice. Get that out of here. Get that crap out of here. There are vents in the backup battery room you can use. It's true. I forget about those vents. So if they're on this side, I can use those vents too. Okay. Cool. Try to remember that. Store, no store. Okay. Um... No store. All right, force shield, power, and I should get level three cloaking, honestly, too. Can't believe I didn't even get my final system either. So we're gonna do that, and we can back up battery level three cloaking. Nice, I like it. Okay. 
Intervene. Wow. Two missiles and a bomb. What a what a build for that guy. And of course it's the laser that he takes offline. Alright, well, the good thing is is I have level three cloaking, so. And stealth weapons. Four to win. Right, I'm firing everything at weapons. If I can't get at least one missile offline here, I'm gonna be sad. Um Okay, that's fine. Damn it, that slowed down my Vulcan firing too. So far, he's only hit me in the weapons. Big surprise. Shield, secondary target, all right. All right, it's fine. Take a little damage, it's fine. Once we get spun up, we're good. It's just him hitting my weapons sucks because it slows down the Vulcan spinning up time. How the hell are we not killing guys faster? Like, seriously, this this build... Wow, that was 124 strap. This build we have is freaking OP. I do not know how we're not killing crew faster. Do, 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 do. It's your boy Heavy. What's up, little pump... Little Pompano. <laughs> your stream might die while I install the game. Okay. All right. Well, good luck for those who are going to try out some EVE Online. I might have to uh, might have to look into that some, uh, eventually. I don't have time to really look at games right now, but maybe I'll maybe I'll install it to check out later. Okay, what do I want to do here? Uh, max doors. Uh, my control value point. And what else? That's basically all I need. I can maybe get backup batteries so I have four power during that thing. Yeah, upgraded mind control was good. Don't hack my weapons, please. All right, engines is like the third or fourth worst, so I'll take it. No sensor or door, door hack for me today, I guess. Nice. Okay. Look like that. Alright, we got a fire in their uh, shield room before his cloak came up. His sec cloak, that's pretty good. Pretty good start. Anyone else seeing audio desync? God, I hope not. I mean, what I always blame my audio desync on is my setup that I have. Now that I'm using a different setup, I was hoping I would not have the audio desync issue. That would really suck if I did. Let's get close to the line here. Okay, I don't have to for this. There we go. That. Nice. I think we got three crew kills there. Not bad at all. Does anybody know how many humans died ran vent? What? <laughs> Backup battery level two with Pog Champ. Six billion have been vented. Still a billion left to go. Is that? Are there seven billion people on Earth? That's crazy. I thought we were still at 6 billion. Apparently I'm behind the times in population growth. We humans are a virus. We spread and multiply. Using up resources and then moving on. Audio's good for you? Okay, good. We're actually close to 8 billion? Oh my god, that's insane. We humans, we're filthy. We're filthy humans. Someone needs to get venting on us. By the way, I have a new book. 
about venting humans. If y'all want to check it out, my autobiography. When you get two good crew from a single pirate, teleporter and killed all crew. Oh, nice. That's very rare to get that. Okay. Come on, control the human. Spooky invisible handkerchief, yeah. Well, Kleenex, yeah. This guy shouldn't be able to do any damage to me. You are correct, sorry, Rand. Still 1.7 billion left to vent. Oh my god. <laughs> That's insane. Why are there so many humans? We are a pox upon this galaxy. A pox, I tell ye. Oh, call me filthy again. Damn it. Don't, it's not kinky. This is not an O-penis run, and this is not a filthy stream. We are at 7.74 billion, 808,723. Okay, that's, that's a lot of humans. That is a lot of humans. You could say Earth is infested. Confirmed, Ren has a plan to vent all humans at once. <laughs> All right, what's our final point here? Um, max piloting for value point. Still not really well set up to deal with the uh, boarding drone. So I'll probably have to send my two humans to deal with him. Good doges for you. Okay, let's go deal with that guy. The question is going to be if I cloak the first missile. I think level 3 cloaking will last long enough, but... I have to see. I actually shot one of those down. Let's go for it. Pilot, so he gets those dodges. I only saw one missile. Did I shoot two missiles down? That would be crazy. All right, another dead human. One down, 7.74,808,722 to go. All right. We're solving this human crisis ourselves. All right, that's another dead human. 7.74,808,721 to go. <laughs> this is the human countdown killing stream, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. Level 3 cloaking can last long enough. It usually will, but there are times when it, where it won't. Yeah, I think it depends on how long the... Does the missile vary in how long it takes to fire? Because that seemed like it took a longer time than I thought it would. I don't know. It's actually probably only the uh, overcharge thing. That can be different timings. All right, can't get anything else with our scrap. Let's go kill all of you, the rest of the humans. So I shot down two missiles. I might have with my flak and a burst laser or something. Okay. okay, so he does board us. Do that. Let's go here. Speaking of cloaking, some of my favorite ships in Eve can cloak and warp while cloak. That's cool. That's like, um, all right, we're gonna go ahead and do this. It's like FTL when they when the guys run while cloaked. But what that actually reminded me more of was um, in WoW when you can um, when uh, paladins would go invincible with their bubble and then Hearthstone away. It's ba basically, bubble hearth is what that is. All right, get wrecked. GG cookie time. Easy ship is easy sauce. <laughs> no second Vulcan. But Vulcan, Flak 1, Burst Laser 2, still pretty badass. That was the heavy weapons guy from Dabuk. Thank you, Dabuk, for the ship. And my cookies are sticking together. Okay. My cookies are dressed up as a stack of cookies for Halloween, I guess. All right, good run right there. 
Missiles doesn't vary, but the charge time for surges very well, yeah. It's very fun to go into wormhole space, cloak up, and hunt down other players. Wow. Really rare, this level 2 cloaking lasting long enough to dodge both. That was level 3, David, not level 2. I had max level cloaking because I had stealth weapons. Alright, GG, good run. Let's check out the score. 57-76. Nice. <laughs> okay. That face is kind of terrifying right there, by the way. You've also only ever seen that one time? Well, get uh, stealth weapons and cloaking and keep firing at level 3 and you can... You too can get lucky enough for that, I guess. You still couldn't get through first warp zone? Winlok, you just gotta... Gotta practice the game. I will say, playing OP ships that viewers send you helps. It's the face of beauty. <laughs> Which ships do I have on list today? Well, the next ship, actually, that I'm going to play is actually a ship Zack Dog sent me for Halloween. It's called the Jack-O-Lantern. So we're going to do that. I also have another ship from DJ Total Blazing. We haven't played a ship of hers except for the Space Turtle, and she has one that's just called Kappa. So I have to. I have a couple ones that I got I to get to today. <laughs> so those are the ones. I'm going to play at least those three. So next will be the Jack-O-Lantern, but real quick, I'm going to stand up to stretch. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoying the FTL. Again, the stream is a little funky today, and it started late because of OBS issues, but uh, I'm going to run a quick, uh, about a minute and a half worth of ads here. When I come back, we will do a Halloween-themed ship. I have no idea what it's going to be, except it's going to be awesome. Be right back, my friends. Y'all rock. See you in a second.